1962 the Washington Quarter in MS67 condition. The number 68 indicates the coins grade on the Sheldon numerical grading scale, which ranges from 1 to 70. MS67 is an excellent grade indicating a coin with few, if any, imperfections. Strong silvery white luster yields to the trace of light golden toning around the borders on this nearly pristine superb gem. It ended up selling for $4758.75. Slightly rainbow toned, was what time with full bands. Graded as MS68 FB by PCGS. According to NGC, this issue is plentiful in mint states through the grade of MS67, but full bands or full torch examples are a small minority of the total number of survivors. The typical 1947S dime is softest struck from heavily worn and blurry dyes. Such dyes were often repolished to remove their erosion lines, and these resulted in a proof like coins having very shallow and partially effaced features. This full torch gem ended up selling for $2,317.50 with buyer's fee. A 1970 D Kennedy half dollar graded as MS67 is relatively rare and valuable, but its specific value can vary depending on several factors. The 1970 D Kennedy half dollar is notable because it's one of the lower mintage years in the series. While it's not rare as 1970 SMS version, it still has a lower mintage compared to other years, which can contribute to its collectible value. The grade MS67 indicates that the coin is in uncirculated condition, with only minor imperfections. In these high grades, the coin is considered to be in exceptional condition and desirable to collectors. The value of a coin will depend on its condition and demand from collectors, and overall market conditions at the time of sale. Typically, coins graded MS67 can command a premium over lower grade coins, but prices can fluctuate over the time. For example, this particular gem was sold for $9,843.75 with buyer's fee. 1923s Lincoln cent with exceptional strike and preservation level, graded as MS65 read by PCGS. For the collectors of high quality Lincoln cents, the opportunity to acquire this boldly struck full red gem 1923s should not be overlooked. The reverse is sharply defined apart from a bit of weakness in the right wheat kernels, and both sides possess outstanding luster in warm medium rose shades. It was sold for $31,200. Here is 1921D Mercury Dime in MS66 Plus condition with full bands, a boldly lustrous gem with broadly sweeping cartwheels and pale champagne gold highlights. The surfaces are mark free and satiny, and the eye appeal is substantial for the grade. The strike is bold and crisp throughout, as should be expected. The mintage for the date. Over 1 million pieces represents the second lowest production run of the design type, taking back seat to just the 1916D rarity. It was sold for $22,325. The typical of Philadelphia made sense from this period. The 1950 issue is usually well struck, but with a dollar, brick red colors and four cents of the war years and later 1950s. Many survivors also suffer from spotting and light staining. There are no varieties of note, though a few cut die breaks are known. 1965 Roosevelt Time struck on a silver planchet left over from 1964. Rare transitional error. Graded in mean state 62 by PCGS, bright silver with a trace of toning on the lower reverse, and lustrous throughout, according to Stax Bowers, while seemingly innocuous, this has all the usual appearance of typical silver Roosevelt Time. But the date of 1965 is when the clad sandwich metal coinage began. There are few of these known of metal old planchet strikings, but very few, especially in mint state, as these would easily have slipped into circulation unnoticed, as silver coins dominated the coins in circulation for a few years after the clad coins were launched in 1965. Similar in error to the famed 1943 copper cents, where a handful of leftover planchets were struck in hopper and when coinage began in the new year slipped into production unnoticed. 
one of the great mint errors of 1960s and an important and rare coin for the specialist. It was sold for $16,450. Another error coin, 1943s Lincoln Sands struck on a silver planchet, graded as AU58 by PCGS. This circulated wartime penny displays incomplete strike due to the blank size difference. Overall, I appeal is very pleasing for a more than half century old penny. It was sold for $5,581.25.